Good evening, everyone. Uh, from Canadian Community Arts Initiative, I thank you for being here. Hamara aaj ek bahut badhiya event hua par vaze junoon ka humne yaha pe media press conference hui. So this is awesome. Waha ke artists aaye hamari unse mulaqat hui. To jisse kehte hain arts ne really sari ke sari jo different ethnicities hain unko ikatha kia. So I loved the event, the 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 basis of it, the reason for it is beautiful. And that is why we have named our outdoor festival as Mosaic, because Mosaic means different things coming together, right? And uh, this is precisely what we are going to do for our outdoor festival as well on August 3rd and 4th. I urge you, I invite you all to come on over. And here I have another director with us, um, uh, Vera Konanakova, and she's going to say something as well. Yes, we want to extend our invitation to all your viewers, just like every year, Mosaic Festival is here, it's a free event, it's a family event, please bring your kids, bring your parents, bring lawn chairs and blankets and come see us, we have a fantastic lineup this year, Recha Sharma is coming, we have Mosin Shokat coming, we have Umera Chana coming, we have fantastic Katak dancers, of course Shamak will be performing again uh, not to even mention the food vendors and the shopping please everybody come this weekend to say hi to us I was about to say that you you counted so many things to be brought don't bring food because we have so much food and we have jalebis out there so you're gonna love it love it sab to pehle te main tag tv da thank you karna wa te we are pleased to uh, invite all of you on friday 3rd of August and Saturday 4th of August uh, at the Mosaic Festival. It's a food, culture and art festival and uh, come one, come all, we are all waiting for you. So what do you expect from Canadians to do for uh, Pakistani film industry? Uh, well, the Canadians in all honesty have done so much already. Uh, we've had the Hum Awards here recently in Toronto and the amount of love and the passion and the sheer response that we have gotten from the Canadian Pakistanis is uh, literally we were all surprised. I mean we expected a good response but we never expected this big of a response. Thousands upon thousands of them were pouring in. Uh, they supported us, uh, they loved us and uh, they admired us and uh, this is I think they're do doing more than their share. Uh, wherever we have went, I mean the JPNA2 team is here we're here, wherever we have went, the response has been out of this world. So no, I have no message to Canadian Pakistanis about what they can do for Pakistani cinema. They're already doing a lot for Pakistani cinema. So my last question will be, why don't we see uh, um, Iranians doing so much little and uh, uh, with so much little budget, they are doing a lot of work for film industry. Why we always compare ourselves with Bollywood? You're absolutely right. I have been very criticized uh, by a certain group of people for saying the exact same thing. Bollywood is a different genre. Iran is a different genre. I think we are yet to discover our own genre. That what is a Pakistani film? I think we'll discover that with time. Abhi there are uh, films being made, uh, every kind of film is being made in Pakistan because Pakistan film industry, the one that we see now, is a very recent phenomenon. Before 2012, you didn't have this film industry, so it's only been like six years, seven years. So give this new film industry more time. It's already producing four or five films a year that you can proudly show to the world. Give it more time. Give it 10 to 15 years and inshallah you'll see uh, the Pakistani film brand coming up. Thank you very much and wish you very good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is your expectation from the audience living in Canada and having a look at the picture of Pakistan, as you said, and um, the artists who are coming here, your experience, your views, and your feedback? Feedback. First of all, thank you for all the love. It has been incredible, overwhelming. Um, I love you all. Second of all, we go to the movies to be entertained and we go to the movies to be uplifted. So I want to say that in Pakistan we have a lot of things that we are doing an image change. We are trying to change the sort of like um, narrative that's going on about Pakistan. But I think it's not being said enough that in the end, on Eid, you want to celebrate. You want to celebrate with your friends. You want to just feel good. 
I'll provide the genuine will provide that for you because it has all those elements and it's going to activate all those emotions that you want in a film and uh, to me that's why I'm super proud of it and so I will never force anybody to go see a film many come and you go but I will say if you watch the trailer and you feel like some tingling and you feel emotion check it out I think it'll be well worth your rate thank you very much and wish you very good luck thank you so much yeah what would you like to convey through us to Canadian audience who is looking forward to see something positive through you guys? Uh, what we would like to say to the Canadian audience is that um, we are overwhelmed by the love that Canada has given us and we want to tell them that Pakistan is a beautiful country and we have people who can love you equally and uh, please come and watch Parvaz Janu because this is going to show you the true face of Pakistan. So what about you? Uh, I think I, I would like to speak directly to the Canadian Pakistani youth and that's because I think they're the ones who can really um, along with the artists, along with producers, actors, you know, from Pakistan, I think people here, the youth play a very big part in changing uh, Pakistan's image. I think for a long time we've had a, a pretty bad rep uh, for reasons that are not true and I think the youth are the ones that can educate themselves more of Pakistan about what our dramas are like about what our, what our art scene in general is like even music and they can change our they can change everyone's perspective my last question will be that uh, the political scenario has been changed so <clears throat> cinema has alre always been very vulnerable uh, to uh, Pakistani society and it's very difficult for the artists to live because since we are watching from another picture also so what would you like to comment on that? Well, with, I don't think that the political scenario that has changed uh, would really affect uh, cinema this time at least because um, this political government understands the power of media and the power that the media has in changing perceptions and uh, taking your culture to the entire world so um, I see better things happening. Okay. So what do you think about the youth? Because we are seeing that there are too many cultural identities now, nowadays and there is a lot of learning. So what do you see the change in the youth and their uh, behavior towards the film industry and drama and performing art? Uh, I think, um, well to go off uh, the whole political situation, I think no matter what, uh, art won't stop uh, making films, making dramas will not stop. Uh, Momra Dure has been doing it for many years. She won't stop. And I think the youth that watches Pakistani dramas, that watches Pakistani films, is doing their job. They're watching. And I think just by watching, you're spreading an idea. You're telling other people to watch the dramas, other people to watch the films. You're telling people that this is what Pakistan is all about. Um, and what Pakistan is very good at doing which I think why people like watching Pakistani dramas especially is because we're very good at making things seem like a fantasy. We make things beautiful and we're making Pakistan beautiful and we're showing that Pakistan is the most beautiful country in the world besides Canada. Thank you very much. Wish you very good luck and we hope to see more and more better production and uh, more and more better artists coming out for us. Thank you. Inshallah. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Ali, you are part of Ham Group who has brought all these uh, vibrant colors to Canada and I can see that how actively you are everywhere, wherever there is something regarding showbiz. So what is your feedback? What would you like to talk to our viewers about your experience, your anticipation and your uh, different kind of, um, uh, I would say, uh, interaction? Well, um, first of all, I'm, I'm from Pakistan, Zahir uh, and uh, I moved to Canada 10 years ago. So I'm a uh, very proud Pak Canadian. I represent uh, both cultures and uh, both countries. And I think now uh, the best part about um, being a part of both places is that Pakistan is now reaching new heights in terms of uh, going global. You know, uh, films is one thing. Uh, people always ask, what's the, what's the importance of films? Why is it different from TV? Uh, TV is lovely, of course, and TV is also reaching your living rooms every day. So that has uh, given us a global presence, but the way films reach people, because people are paying to go watch you in the theater, and nobody's gonna pay to watch you if you're not good. So I think Pakistan now is reaching that level of, in a very short time, we have, 
sort of accelerated our process so fast that I think in the next five to six years, Pakistani films are going to be everywhere. Really, and right now I'm so proud to say that uh, you know there's there's lots of films from from two films in two years we have now to 30 films in a year, you know, and um, it's it's going at a very accelerated pace, and I think it's um, Pakistan films are going to take over the world very soon. Thank you very much, and wish you very good luck. It's always good to be optimistic. Ab absolutely, I think. Um, we have to, uh, as um, not only, it's not just about, you know, honestly, it's not just about Pakistan or or, or India or, or, or anything like that. It's, it's as South Asians, I think as a community, I think what, what Canada teaches you is, is, is the best that way. That uh, we have to move together and, uh, and represent, you know, because um, if we don't help each other out, then who will? Art has no boundaries. It Absolutely. has no, no limits. It's pure creativity and it matters that how well you treat it. Absolutely. I think that's the, one of the beautiful things about living in Canada. Is, and I think I can't believe, uh, you know, all the, all the Pakistani artists uh, that have come here. I was telling them, you know, guys, trust me, you guys are going to have a lot of love here. You guys are going to have a lot of fans. And uh, they were like, yeah, okay. And when they came here, the level of love that Canada has shown them, they're blown away. So, I, you know, I'm very happy about that. Thank you. You know, thank you so much. Thank you very much.